everybody out there in Hot Rod Land, it's Phil coming to you once again from Carcraft Classics. Today showing off this cool 1968 Ford F100 Ranger. But before we get to that, I just want to mention to those of you who may be watching one of my videos for the first time, this is Carcraft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road, Cumming, Georgia, 30040. And the phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977. My name is Phil. My email, or I'm sorry, my cell number is 770-317-1415. I can also be reached at uh, via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. And be sure to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com. If you like classic cars, classic trucks, neon signs, wheel and tire packages, and other accessories and novelty items for the classic cars, please click below, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. It really helps small businesses like mine with uh, internet exposure. And we're on all the social media platforms, obviously here on YouTube. We're also on Instagram and Facebook, and again, we have our own website at cla uh, carcraftclassics.com. So this bad boy came to us from a local builder. He's also built vehicles that have been in movies, such as Frank and Cuda. Give that a Google on your old cell phone. Check that car out. Frank and Cuda was unbelievable build and I think it was in one of the Fast and Furious movies but uh, anyway this particular gentleman is a friend of mine and he built this truck as well and this is a bad mamma jamma what we've got here is a pro touring style resto mod this is just an old patina but solid but patina 1968 Ford F100 Ranger uh, on the outside anyway so what we've got is a regular cab short bed original short bed truck the original paint is still on the truck as you can see it is a Ranger model as you can see on that little badge on the tailgate there or, or on the bedside but that's about all that's original on this thing as I mentioned it's been built up with the intention of making it into a pro touring style resto mod and uh, for those of you that don't know, I know most of you do, but for those that don't, you know, pro touring style is, you know, a, a car, a classic car, a truck that's been built with road racing in mind. So particular upgrades are made to the suspension and under the hood and things like that to make it really handle well, not just go in a straight line fast, but be able to maybe compete on a road course. Uh, so that's what was the intention with this build. And resto mod just means restored but modified. And this thing has definitely been modified. I hope I don't miss anything, but I probably will because there's so much to this build. First off, you can notice right away the stance on the truck. It's obviously been lowered. It's got a killer look to it. And the way they lowered it was uh, they spliced in a Crown Vic front end, which is super common with the Fords. Obviously a Crown Vic uh, Crown Victoria is from the Ford line, so evidently it lines up well and splices in well for, for trucks like this because I've seen them used many, many times on the F100s, on the old trucks. And it gives you independent suspension up front and uh, disc brakes as well. And this particular truck has disc brakes up front and in the rear because a Mustang rear end was transplanted into this truck as well. So a little bit heavier duty rear end along with a positive traction rear and those disc brakes uh, all the way around. Super, super nice upgrade for these old trucks because while they were cool and they look real nice, they didn't stop real well back in the day. So now with those four wheel disc brakes, it's really, really an upgrade. Again, this is a 68 model, the same year I was born. This baby is sweet. So it's got the original grill, the original bumpers, and just to finish up the thought on the look, you know, talked about the suspension being lowered. Those are wheels that we do sell here, and those are the Riddler 650s in gray 
with a polished lip. These are 20 inch staggered. Looks like it's got a Toyo tire on it. I know you guys are going to ask me, so let me see. It's a 255 40 20 front and a 295 40 20 in the rear. That's a 20 by 8 wheel up front and a 20 by 10 or possibly a 20 by 10 and a half uh, wheel in the rear. So again, it's the body still got all its patina from the original paint. Clear coat has failed, gives it a really cool look. I like to refer to this truck as the Rebel. It's a bad boy. It's not a pretty show winner, but it'll whoop up on anything at the show, I'll tell you that much. Wait till you hear this thing. Unbelievable build. And I love that it's got its original character and marks and dings and dents and clear coat failing. But it does have its shiny spots as well going down the side here of the cab. Looks pretty good, but uh, it's got that badass look and the drivetrain is just unbelievable. The purists, the four purists need to look away. Before we get into looking over the engine, I'm just going to read off a build list for you. Let's see if I can turn this camera while I'm reading here real quick. All right. So again, this is an original Ford F100 Ranger, regular cab short bed pickup. It hasn't been cut down. It is an original short bed. And what you're looking at there, although it looks like a Ford with the Ford sticker on the air cleaner and the blue engine, it actually is an LS motor. That's a six liter LS2, 364 cubic inch V8. It's connected to a six speed 6L90 automatic transmission with a billet stall converter. What you see there, that is a Holly aluminum intake manifold, high rise style. And it's con and on top of that, you have the throttle body fuel injection system from Holly as well. <clears throat> you see the fuel rails and all that good stuff. I told you about the Crown Vic front end and independent suspension. I also mentioned the uh, the Mustang eight and a half inch posi rear end. That's a, a set of ceramic coated headers and brand new dual exhaust all the way out the back. I believe it's got Flowmaster mufflers. That engine's got a, uh, it's completely rebuilt and it's uh, got a Brian Tooley cam. So it's got a really nice sound to it as I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, let's see, the serpentine belt system on the front there. Take a look at that. That's from Holly as well and I absolutely love that because it tucks all the accessories in tight to the engine it's a gives a really nice presentation and I absolutely love the look talked about the four-wheel power brakes power rack and pinion steering brand new aluminum radiator and electric fans all new wiring relocated the fuel tank from inside the cab to under the bed new fuel lines new brake lines 20 inch staggered gray Riddler 650 wheels Inside, you'll see in a moment the decoded digital RTX gauge cluster. It's got the look of the original gauges, but obviously performs a lot better and is easier to read. Got brand new vintage air conditioning system on it. Got a replacement seat out of a later model F-150 pickup. It's got a brand new TMI dash pad, Bluetooth stereo system, a new headliner with a radio mount above your head there. The lights, directionals, and wipers are all in working order, and it will come with a clean Georgia title. So let's look around this sucker now that I've read off that build list to you. And you can see it's a rust-free truck. Let's see here, let me get situated. Get the wiring up under the hood. Inner fenders are in great shape. Let me show you that Crown Vic splice in really really nice work that they did there's that rack and pinion system down there it's power steering pulley uh, or uh, reservoir and there's your alternator there's that again that holly serpentine system that I love so much the reason I like it is again it pulls all the accessories in tight some of the other serpentine belt systems you know they got the alternator and the 
the AC system sitting way out above the motor and it just it looks a little janky to me. It's that TVI system, Holly intake manifold. Got the upgraded valve covers, painted blue. To give it that Ford appearance for all the purists. Nice factory Ford sticker on the air cleaner. This build was done about 3,000 miles ago. So everything's broken in, all the bugs have been worked out. The car, truck is absolutely turned key, ready to roll. There's those ceramic headers again. Two and a half inch, I think, the exhaust going out the back. Firewall's in great shape. It's not a rusty mess, even though it's got that badass, tough, incredible look. On the exterior, it doesn't have any rust on it. Now, before we close the hood, let me show you here. Brand new, I think, three-core radiator, aluminum radiator with the electric fans. So that's all ready to keep this baby nice and cool as you're ripping down the road or flying around the track. This thing is cool. Again, it is the Ranger model, which back in 68, I believe, was the top model. 68 saw some changes for Ford. You know, body lines changed a little bit. Cab was enlarged. Engine choices were enhanced as well. You know, you could get up to a 390, which I think is what this truck had in it before it was pulled for that uh, for that six liter LS motor fuel injected. Again, it's got a six speed automatic overdrive transmission. So you can drive this thing to work every day if you choose to do so. It's gonna go down the road like a modern day performance car. It's got all its original body side moldings, rocker panel moldings. And it's so weird to look at a 68 and see four wheel disc brakes through the wheels, but again, this one's got it. She is killer, man. I love this truck. So if you're looking for a Patina Pro Touring build, we've got it for you. You can take this thing down the road and not worry about getting a chip or a ding or a dent and just rip on it and just have fun just wear this thing out gonna perform like a modern day performance car there's your new gas uh, outlet again it's been removed the tank from the behind the driver's seat and relocated underneath the uh, underneath the bed there Pretty straight too, going down the side. I mean, you may find your little ding or dent here and there. But again, that's just all part of the original character that you see on this particular build. Sliding the rear window, factory option. And she's got vintage air, so I don't know how much you'll need that, but uh, maybe on a cool summer night, cruising with you, honey, this thing. A lot of fun. She's probably going to ask you to drive. <laughs> Check it out. As I said before, it's kind of shiny going down some on the sides. But it's like the sun got to the roof and the top of the, the top of the hood to give it that killer outlaw rebel look. This thing is cool. Posi rear end, like I said. Break those tires loose anytime you want. Both of them are going to spin, not just one. Glass is in good shape. Windows roll up and down. Lights, directionals, heat, it all works. Gauge cluster is, I think, uh, the Dakota Digital RTX. Again, it's been made to look like the original gauge cluster. But, uh, of course, the functionality of it is, is all vastly upgraded. Easier to read, much more accurate. GPS Speedo. We love the Dakota Digitals here at Carcraft Classics. We put them in all our C10s and sweet. Let's take a peek in here. Basically stock looking door, you know, uh, panel. 
no rust in the corners. It's got that badass patina look, but it's not a rusty hunk of junk. Rockers are in good shape. That's a seat out of, uh, I believe, a late 80s, early 90s F-150, so it's a lot more comfortable than the seat that came with it. It's got a new carpet kit in there as well. Again, 3,000 miles since the truck's been completed. That's a new TMI dash pad. Obviously no cracks with it being brand new and everything. An old Ford three-spoke steering wheel. Let's take a peek at these gauges. Electric fuel pump. Again, it's got a cam in the engine. Uh, the, it was a pull-out, the engine, low mileage pull-out, but it was all rebuilt along with the transmission, so she's turnkey, ready to roll. Check out those gauges, baby. Everything's obviously working. Supplemental gauges, uh, the fuel gauge, the battery reading, the temp gauge, and the oil pressure. Everything is all hooked up and reading well. Speedo works. Wipers work. Heat works. AC works. <laughs> Get a little dusty in here. All right, so. Headliner has built-in speakers. It's done a lot better than the original ones from Ford, that's for sure. And I like that. It's kind of trick that the stereo mount in the headliner. I like that. What you need is a little CD. them to look like the old style but operate much better hear that radiator doing its thing with the electric fans it's like LED headlights Super sweet truck. Take it to the track or drive it to work, baby. Of course, you gotta have the Georgia Bulldog sticker on there. That is, of course, removable if you're a fan of another team, but there will be a surcharge if you take that off. We root for the dogs around here. <laughs> oh, let me shut the lights off. So anyway, that is our 1968 Ford F100. 
Pro Touring style resto mod. As you can see, doors open and close well. She is sweet. I like this one for me. Sorry you had to hear me drool for the last 20 minutes. But it's a badass truck. And we love our C10s here at Carcraft, but we only get about one F100, you know, per every 10 C10s that you get. So I get kind of giddy like a, a little schoolboy looking at one of these for the first time. So cool. So anyway, the asking price on this truck is going to be $35,900. Thirty-five and I know everybody's losing money at that that number as far as building it and all that, but trying to keep things affordable here at Carcraft Classics, we figure the rich have enough fun. This one's affordable, and we can also help with financing. We can help with delivery, light customization. Let's say you wanted to change the braking system or upgrade the wheel and tires, or whatever the case may be, let me know and I'll do what I can to help. $35,900 is the asking price. Again, my name is Phil. My number is 770-317-1415. Give me a holler if you want to make an offer, if you have any questions, concerns, want to get started with the application process for financing, just let me know. Again, it's 770-317-1415. And keep in mind, this truck also comes with a clean Georgia title. Just give me a call if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching the video. God bless America.